Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to RTC, RTC TV4. My name's Dakota Hayden, alongside with Dalton Jones, and we're going to be your co-commentators for tonight's varsity football matchup between the Casting Comets and the LaVille Lancers. I have to say, nice day for a football game. Very nice day, Dakota. We got the Comet Band and the cheerleaders out there ready to welcome the Comets to the field. And I see the Lancers off in the distance, kind of just sitting around getting ready to make the approach as well. Got about two minutes left before the game, three minutes actually, I should say, before the game actually starts. So we got, we got a little time. We got a little time. Just sit back and relax and good old-fashioned football. The Comets running out into the field. They look ready to go. I gotta say though, I'm still disappointed that they don't do the inflatable tunnel anymore. Oh yeah, I miss that. Wonder why they stopped using it. Maybe it popped. Yeah, too. Be funny, getting riled up before the game, and then all of a sudden just deflates on top of you. Yeah. Be funny to a lot of people, though. Oh yeah. All right. The little, little Lancers getting on their side of the field. About now, we get prepped to send the guys out there for the coin toss. What are you thinking they're going to say? Heads or tails? Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to go with heads. Heads? I okay. usually go heads of flipping a coin. Yeah, I usually never go tails. Toss. Comets won the toss. Comets won the toss, and they are going to receive it. So Comets will start off with the ball tonight. Buzzers off, that'll start the game. Alright. Starting with the first quarter, getting things ready to go. Assuming comments are going to probably do the normal receiving lineup, but number 40 Casey in the back, and be aided by uh, Albright and <laughs> Walker. Yeah, Colton Walker. How could I forget who was number 35? Usually, sometimes I have these numbers memorized. Other times it's just <laughs> it's been a week. I mean, a lot of numbers to memorize. I know. What we got for yeah number. Uh -huh. Turn your body so I can see your number. 20. Number 20 for LaVille. We got Dakota Fig. Hey, that's my name. Not Fig, but Dakota. It's a solid kick by LaVille. He's going right to Casey. He's going to be running that back, looking for an opening. Oh, he had it. Just barely got taken down there. I'd say it's about the 30. Right on the 30. 
Just about. Or maybe the 31. We might be one off, you know. It's around there. Hey, who cares about st statistics? Right, this is football, obviously. Get it from one end to the other. That's all you got to do. Of course. That's, that's a solid start for the Comets. All right, first possession. Let's see what they can do. Going to be a handoff play. They got it to Casey, and he ran. They got some yards going there for him. It's a six-yard game. Nope, five-yard game. They started on the 31. Math. See, even in football, school is important. Sure. That's <laughs> what they say. Yeah. Setting up. What do we got? It'll be another run by Brady. Number 20. He's able to get the first down for the Comets. Dropped it about the 45-yard line, maybe. Good job. Announcer calls it like it is. Setting up again. I'm going to call another running play. About right on that one, they got it to the Brady. Or was that Casey? I saw a zero, but I didn't see the first number. I think that was Casey. Yep. Casey all. I feel like he's going to be running a lot in this game. That usually is a typical pattern, just about. Doing well with it so far to start off the game. Slowly but surely, Comets making their way to the halfway mark of the field. That good old 50 yard line. Let's see if they can make it into Lancer territory. Seven, Tate, now on the quarterback Tate running the ball. Comets sitting on the 48 yard line in Lancer territory. Slowly but surely, they're making their way across. Some of the crowds always getting riled up. Decent crowd out for football tonight, that's for sure. Comets and Lancers alike. Hearing some angry dads out there. Well, you get that. <laughs> End of the run by Blake Albright. Seemed like one of his own teammates might have gotten his way in his run. Still got some yards, maybe not as much as he could have had, but that'll work. That'll work. Yards are yards. Fourth down for the Comets, one yard to go. They are going to run it. Which I'd imagine only one yard to go. No sense to kick it off to him. Are they able to sneak him in? They got it. Got lucky right there. One more inch away, they would have been the other ball. Real close. Solid play by the Comets, giving him the first down again. Making their way across the field. Let's go. I'm hearing a lot of angry noises coming down from the field. Or at least one in particular. I'm sure they're just showing support for their team. Nothing wrong with that. Oh no, some of it may be just anger coming out. Maybe, but we're going to assume it's positive anger. <laughs> positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement. Ooh, that could be a handoff to Brady. Couldn't quite get anything moved. I think maybe a loss of yards. 
Yeah, a loss of a yard. Who was that? 64 for the Lancers. Corbin Brown was able to push Brady back for that loss of a yard. Yeah. To be another handoff back to number 10, Caleb Conrad. Oh no, it's 40. Dang it, I keep seeing the zero and I keep just assuming the number. Oh, I thought that was number 10. You're not yeah. there as well. <laughs> Jeez. It's Casey. He's able to get it to already drop up the, up the 40, maybe. Caleb and Casey both start with a K. Yeah, Caleb's off on the side right there, number 10. Casey's the one in play. Man, just tripping up. Tripping up. Look to make a pass by number seven Tate. Tried to get to Casey, just a bit short. It's close. It's close. Comments ready for another play. Foul. Penalty flag on the field. Oh, gonna be offside. Looks like the point towards the Lancers side. Offsides towards the Lancers, I think, is what the announcer was calling. That should be about a comment first down, I would think. Or at least right on it, maybe. Hearing the cheer from the cheerleaders, it is a first down. Comments looking to run the ball straight through the middle. It's at the bottom of that. Brady with that run. Slowly but surely, heading towards the touchdown. Slowly but surely, gain of, say about two yards. They're working their way, they're getting there, that's for sure. Looks like they're going for a pass. So we can get it going. Yeah, you're right, he's looking for it. Almost got it to Blake Albright, number eight. He's got intercepted. True, that was risky. But number 13, Edgar Alvarado. It's close, close. Still a good attempt by the Comets. Not very often do we see him make a play pa uh, pass. Passing play, not very often. The more of a running game kind of thing, I think. Or at least what I've seen. Number seven, we're gonna make the run. Seven take foul on a quarterback keeper. Not so sure if he gained any yard. He got pushed back a bit. I think he got put back. Or did he go down before? No, he went down before. Four and six for the Comets. They're gonna kick it back or they're gonna run for it. Are you feeling lucky? I don't know. See what they got. Oh, Ref blowing a whistle. Oh, excuse me. It'll be a timeout. Looks like Comets called a timeout. We're going to take a short little break and uh, hear a word from our sponsor.
There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. All right, and we're back for that short little break. Comets four down, six to go. Looks like they're going for it. Casey with the ball. He's able to make it. He gets the Comet first down. That boy used some power there. It's a solid run. That'll do it. That'll do it. Seem to be on a roll here, but handoff back to Blake Albright, number eight. He gets through for some yards. Getting real close, getting real close. They're looking for that touchdown, that's for sure. Got about four minutes and 25 seconds left on the board for the first quarter. See if they can make that final push. 18 yards to go, second and seven. Comments now, Tate looking for a pass. Now he's gonna run it himself. Runs out with it. Three yard gain, Comets three and seven. Four, my bad. I was looking off the scoreboard for that one, I was cheating. Cheater. I try, I try. Comets looking for the next play. Might try a pass again. Oh, it looked like Tate was going to keep it. Lancers are able to break through that offensive play and bring him down. No injuries yet. That's always good. Yeah, for the first quarter, that's for sure. No one hurting down and or pulling a muscle or strain. It's always a good thing. Mm-hmm. Fourth and four for the Comets. Yeah, I'd be thinking, well, might as well go for it. Looking to hand off to Blake Albright. And he wasn't able to get through. Lancers able to back him up. Yeah, that's going to be a turnover on downs, giving it back over to the Lancers. Well, not back over. This is going to be the first time the Lancers have possessed the ball this game. Most of the quarter, Cummins was able to hang on to the ball. Couldn't quite get it down to the uh, end zone, but that's all right. Lancers got a bit of ground to cover before they could get to their own end zone, so it works. Looks like Lancers might be going for a pass in number... 15, Braxton Saar. First ball on the whistle. Let's get this play underway. Flag on the field. 
I'm saying false start for the Lancers. That's what it looked like anyway. Not so sure if that's what they're going to call it. Oh, no. That would be against the Comets for five yards. That looked like a false start on the Lancers from up here. And again, what the ref says goes. <laughs> Flag on the play again. I believe that was casting. Yep. That's not helping. That's going to be an automatic Lancer first down. I believe casting is a bit too eager to hit these guys. Seems a bit like. I'd agree. Lancers looking for a run. Comets were on top of that, able to stop him. Might have got a yard, maybe. Two yards. Scoreboard's calling it two yards. Lancers handing the ball back off to number 23. Comets are able to run him out. Number 23 for the Lancers being Andrew Dill. Comets are able to run him out. But don't think there was any gainage on the play. Third down for the Lancers. About two minutes to go. Lancers faked the handoff, went for a pass, a real deep pass to number 83. It's caught. Number 83 being Jacob Good. Well, that pass was sure good. Ha, 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 ha. Funny puns. It was a nice deep pass by the Lancers to give him that first down again. That'll put him at about the 50-yard line. It's a solid play. Definitely needed that. He's looking for another run. Number 21, Colby Watts running the ball. About a yard gain on that play for the Lancers. Colton Walker was on the stop for that one. Number 35 for the Comets. Minute left on the quarter. See if the Lancers can get anything rolling for, I'd say if they make it quick, they can squeeze in two more plays. Take handoff to a pass. Short pass to number 20. Oh, there's a fumble. Thomas recovered the fumble. All right, 22. All right, all right, let's get my stats in order. All right, 22. Robbie Pope was on the catch for that. He went down. He dropped the ball. Fumble. Comets recovered. I right, think. Number eight, Blake, Blake Albright. There we go. Boom. Almost got that last. <laughs> Hint in there. Awesome. And the clock's going to go out, ending the first quarter. So far, the game's all tied up at zero. Thank you for tuning in to RTC TV4. We'll be right back with you after these commercials. Oh, here it is. You know what you're looking for underneath your truck? I don't, but I know who does. The professional service staff at Shepherds knows how to fix my vehicle and get me back on the road fast. 
Schedule your next service appointment online at shepherdsrochester.com. From simple oil changes to major engine repair, Shepherds is the only place for me. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency, online at evansagencyrochester.com. All right, and we are back with the second quarter of tonight's game. Score is still tied up, zero to zero. Nothing changed there. Starting Lantis ball. Well, that's weird. I thought the Comets recovered a fumble last time. I believe it switches every quarter. Hmm. Intriguing. Well, number 23 on that carry for the Lancers, regardless. That was Andrew Dill. That would get the Lancers their first down. Like number 23, Andrew Dill running the ball. Yeah, he's brought down. I'm not so sure where he's brought down at, but wait, let me count. I can do math. Hold up. We all know you're great at math. Haha, <laughs> sarcasm, I hear it. Mm -hmm. 34 yard line, I'd say. I uh, just got word from um, another game going on at around the same time over a valley. The Vikings are up 14 to zero on whoever they're playing. Never got who they were playing, but whoever they're playing, they're up 14 to zero. So it sounds like uh, Valley's doing pretty good for themselves. Right now, this isn't about Valley, it's about Caston and Laville. But just keeping everyone on the know-how <laughs> of what else is going on around here. And we had, I want to say, 21 for Laville was on that carry. That's uh, Kobe Watts. I think they got pushed back a couple of yards on that play. Wasn't so sure who got the tackle for the Comets. But uh, either way, they pushed him back. So nothing but good things. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Lancers, third down, six yards to go. Sitting on the 36-yard line. Let's see what they got up their sleeves. Looking to hand it back off to number 23. He's got space to run. He got the first down for the Lancers. 23 being good old Andrew Dill. Hearing a lot of them this game. And he's definitely one of the main runners, it seems like, for... Laville. Then again, Laville has got a lot of players on their team. Like they got a whole nother like few sets of people they could be rotating out. So they're always going to have fresh players. While the Comets, they don't really got a lot of room to interchange people. Which they, they are strong though. They are strong, but it's going to play a factor as time goes on. Well, sometimes, sometimes. Couldn't quite tell who was on the carry there for Laville. They dropped down. About the 20, 20, math, 27 yard line, I'd say. Gain of a few yards, maybe. Actually, I'm going to say yes, that was a gain of three yards. Three. 26 yard, I, 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 I'm trying, I'm trying, I really am. You'll get better. At math. At math. Flag on the play. What you calling, ref? Because I didn't see squat. 
False start on the Lancers. That'll push them back. It is not going to help them. Added five yards to the play. They're now two and twelve. All Seven plus five is twelve. Already what? Four false starts and start of the second quarter. I sense a lot more coming on. Probably. Well, that depends. I haven't seen. This is like the most fouls I've seen in the game so far. That I've. Ooh. Scratch that. Number seven, Tate Cow blocking the ball. Swatted that right out of the sky. He wasn't having any of that. Nice block on that play. Looks like they're going in for another pass. See, so LaVille's got up their sleeve. Oh, nope, going for a handoff Ooh. to number 23. That's Andrew Dill, if I'm not mistaken. He's got room to run. Tripped over himself a little bit. He's going to be brought down. I believe that's a first down. Oh, uh, no. Nope. I'm thinking they're short. Yep, they're short a few yards. They are short. Double team effort by Casey Alt and Blake Albright to bring down Andrew Dill. Put him down at about the 24 yard line. Four and four for the Lancers. If they really wanted to, they could go for a touchdown right now. They could if they can get open and go for a straight run, they'd got it. They do, they do. They got the handoff to Andrew Dell. He's he, just that. He had a real clean run. Brought down by, who got him? Who got him? Who got him? That's seven. That's Tate. Was able to bring him down. I almost predicted the future. Almost, almost. They got the first down, though, but not quite close enough for a touchdown. Not quite close enough for a touchdown. They are close, though. They are close. You are absolutely correct. Lancers now with a fresh new set of downs, one and ten at the 11 yard line, I'd say. Going for another handoff play to number 21. I think there was a fumble on the play. It's Zach Conrad with the recovery on that fumble. Attaboy. Comet possession. Let's see, it was number 21, Colby Watts with that carry. Ball got must have got knocked right out of his hand and Zach Conrad, number 12, I think, for the Comets, is able to get right on top of that and recover it for the old Comets. Ball switches possessions. And I think the Comets are sitting on the second yard line, which uh, that's not exactly the best place you want to be is <laughs> if they get pushed back, uh, the Lancers will score. Well, let's hope we don't get a false start. Yeah. We'll get our fifth one. That'd be pushed back and automatic safety. That'd be not the best thing to have right about now. Oh, it's prepping. We got a comment time out. We're going to take a little break and get some words from our sponsors. Thank you for watching RTC TV. Touchdown from every game, every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. And we are back after that short break. Score is still tied 0-0 zero zero, with about 7 minutes and 8 seconds left on the board for the second quarter. 
Comet sitting on the two yard line. It's not an ideal position, but if they can get a good play going, it'll work out. It'll work out. Like well, we got the ball this time. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Let's just pray. No false starts. <laughs> The ball is thrown into the air. I think the Lancers are able to recover on that. Oh. Touchdown by Lancers, if I heard correctly. Well, that was unexpected. That was unexpected. Well, how about that? wonder what happened up there, because the ball just went flying straight into the air, and the Lancers took a hold of it and just dropped right into the end zone. That'll bring the Lancers up six to nothing. Looked like they're going to kick for that extra point. I wasn't quite sure who was there to catch the ball for that touchdown though, for the Lancers. But I do know, if my eyes do not deceive me, we got number 20 for the Lancers for the kickoff for the extra point, which is Dakota Fig, the guy who stole my first name. Are you sure he stole? Oh yeah, he stole it. Looks good. Refs call it good, therefore it is. Lancers now take the lead, seven to zip. Let's hope we can bring him back. Let's see what we can do. Uh, update from another game going on at around this time. The Rochester Zebras are up 10 to zero. And from what I hear, uh, Zane Duff kicked a 38 field goal with 11 minutes left in the first quarter. So, great way to start off the game for the Zebras. Not sure who they're playing either, but they're winning. <laughs> Good luck for the Zebras. All right. So, comments are lining up for the field to receive the ball again. Got 40, Casey in the back as always. And Albright and Walker out there to support them. And over for the Lancers, 20. That is Fig, Dakota Figs. Or Fig. Fig, not figs, fig. Have you ever seen Kasten make a touchdown with receiving the ball? I've seen him get close. I've seen him get really close, but I, not that I can recall. Not that I can recall, but I've seen him get really close. Nice kick by the Lancers. That's going to go right to Casey. See if he can get a run going in here. He got swarmed. Dropped it about the 31st yard line. You got it right. So that's a decent start for him for this possession. If it's going to be anything like the first quarter, they'll just start inching their way back. Let's see what they can do. It's handing it off. Double handoff from Blake Albright to Casey Alt. Casey's running the outsides. He's able to get past for the Comet first down. Oh, he, all Casey needed to do is get past that last guy. He would be running for a touchdown right now. He would have had the entire field to go. I think he can make it. Oh, yeah. But he, he got taken out of bounds, so. You know, first down, we'll take a first down. We'll take, take a first, first down. down. First down's great. Well, the 45-yard line, slowly inching their way over to Lancer territory. Let's see if the Comets can get running for this play. And I say running quite literally. Ooh, wait, Tate looking for a pass. Gets the ball up. He's looking Ooh. for Conrad. Zach Conrad, to be specific. Couldn't quite get it to him. Close, just out of arm's reach, which I find that to be impossible for Zach Conrad because he's got a wicked wingspan. Very, very tall guy. 6'5", if I remember right. 
Yes, you are correct. 6-5. Awesome. I memorize my stuff occasionally. Comets now 2-10. Weren't able to get that pass. They're going to hand off to Casey. He's going to try and run it. He got stopped. I think maybe on the line of scrimmage. I don't think he got anywhere with that. Same spot as before. It's looking like it. Three and ten. Comets got to figure out something here. Let's line it up. And for another double handoff off to Albright. Ooh, oh, he tried to through. Blake Albright on the carry gets it up across the 45 to the 46 yard line. He gained one whole yard. It'll be fourth down for the Cummins. Four and nine. I mean, they could try and go for it. Maybe they could make a nine yard run, get the first down, or they can punt it back. Look at that. I think they might be going for a pass. Nope, they got Kinzer out there. They're gonna punt it back. Usually Kinzer is the one that ends up punting the things back. Could be a fake. Could be a fake. Could be. Could be. We don't know. Oh, nice kick fake. by Kinzer. Tate's looking to secure the ball over there. Starting the Lancers off at the nine yard line. They're going to have some ground to cover. Comets now back on defense. Lancers offense. Let's see if the Comets can hold them off again. Lancers still lead 7 to 0. Let's see what they can do. They got a long way to go to make a touchdown. They do got quite a bit of distance to cover. Comet sitting eagerly waiting. Lancers trying to figure out what their play is going to be. Coach Valencup to get lined up for introductions at halftime, please. Set up. is looking for a handoff to number 23. I think that's Andrew Dill. He's got some room to run. He gets the first down for the Lancers. Taken out of bounds. Yard line one and ten. Let's see what the Lancers got. They're looking for a pass. Looking for a deep pass. There's no one there for it. Mm. Just a little bit faster and Tate would have had an interception. It's close. They had all the open ground for it. Second and ten. Let's see what the Lancers try this time. Four minutes and 27 seconds left on the board for the second quarter. And we'll be moving on to halftime. You are right. Going to be a handoff to number 20, Dakota Fig. A few yards gained on that play for the Lancers. 
Three and seven. Hand off to number 20, Dakota Fig again. He's got room to run. Lancers got their first down. Conrad tried to take him out. Who got him? Got a lot of yardage there. Dakota did. Real long run there. 55, Kinzer was able to finally bring him down. Lancers definitely got that first down. Finally got brought down at the 38. Yes. 38 yard line. Lancers once again, first and 10. Handoff again to the Lancers to Andrew Dill, number 23. He's got room to run. I think he's got it. Andrew Dill got a touchdown. Another six points brings him up 13 to zip. Not looking too good for the comments right now. Not looking too good. They still got two more quarters to go. They still got two more quarters. They got a little bit of breathing room for that. I've seen the comments kick back before. I have to. I've, I've seen my share. I've seen many. Let's see if we can get anything rolling for them after this extra kick. At 20, that's Dakota Fig again. Going for the extra point. Almost blocked by number 55, Kinzer, Brandon Kinzer. The kick is good. The ref's calling it good, therefore it is good. 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 0-14, to 14, Lancers in the lead. Comments need to score two touchdowns and make both extra point kicks in order to tie the game. And I can do math, and that is how you tie the game. Team is getting ready. Lancers will be kicking the ball back off to the Comets. We'll get another possession shot to try and maybe make a touchdown here before halftime. Got three minutes and 27 seconds left on the board. Taking a while to get out on the field. Lancers have taken out to the field again. At number 20, Dakota Figs setting up to kick the ball back off to the Comets. We got our classic lineup of Blake Albright, Colt Walker, and Casey Alt in the back ready to receive the kickoff. Off to the right side there for Fig. Number 35, Walker's got it. He had room to run. Whew. Got taken down. He, was, he got some air time on that one, landing at the 40-yard line. He got some runnage on that, too. A solid start for the Comets. Let's see if we can get anything rolling here in the last three and a half minutes of the game. Or not the game, the first half. Let's hope we can get at least one, one touchdown. I'd do it. I'd do it. Get the momentum swinging back. 
Let's see what the comments got. Tate looking for a pass. He couldn't find anybody. He gets pushed out. I think he might have lost a yard on that one. No, gain on the play, second down. Nope, he, he made it, so there was no gain. All right, it looked like he got taken out at the 40 or 39. He did get taken out of the 39. The announcer was wrong. I was right. Wow, that's surprising. That's rare. That never happens. I'll take it. Win. Me one. Announcer zero. <laughs> and off to number 40, Casey Alt, looking to gain some yards. He might have just got past the line or the 40 yard line. I think he got a gain of one, so now it's three and ten again. Or maybe three and nine. If I'm mistaken. Math is off. Got another update from the uh, Tippy Valley game. They are now 24 and zero in the lead with five minutes left in the half until halftime. They are doing great. They are doing fantastic. 24 and 0. Now back to the Comets. Number 8, Blake Albright trying to get a run here. Great. Blake Albright on the carry. Taken down, I'd say, 40 yard line. That's going to be a loss. Still fourth down. Well, I think they'd punt it back now. A uh, timeout running? Time out yep. Lancer timeout. We're going to take this little break to do some more commercials. We'll be right back. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on RTC4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications. Now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. Are the other guys offering you less than you expect for your trade-in? At Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, they trade your way, offering you top dollar for your trade-in vehicle. Hi, I'm Chris Smith, PJ Tour player and Rochester native. Shepherds prides themselves on giving you the highest amount possible for your trade. If someone is giving you less than you expect, come out to Shepherds and give them the opportunity to find a deal that works for you. Shepherds, Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. All right, and we are back after our break. Comet's still down 0-14. to 14. They're 4-11. and 11. It looks like they're going to be punting the ball back off to the Lancers. With number 55, Brandon Kinzer out there to kick it back off. It's a solid kick by Kinzer. It's going to sit at about the 25 yard line, I think. Is it legal in the football law to, when they punt, to catch the ball while it's in the air? I think I've seen it. I think I've seen it. I can't remember who did it, but I think I've seen it. Very impressive, though. Yeah. Kick goes far. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I've actually never. Hopefully I can see it tonight. That'd be interesting. First timer. All right, well, the Lancers will be starting on the 25-yard line, first and 10. You got about two minutes to make something happen here in the... Remainder of the first half. Looking for a pass. Get it to number 83. Complete pass. Gets him the first down. Jacob Good. Seems like the Comets have been getting lucky with fumbles this game. So far, uh, they've recovered at least. Well, now see, they recovered one of them early on. 
and I, it didn't seem like they counted it because then the Lancers had the possession of it then afterwards. But they got the another one, then they fumbled it again and lost it. And then, yeah, so fumbles have been playing a key role so far in the game. Got Tate bringing down 23, Andrew Dill on that run. A solid gain of runs, a solid gain of runs. Yeah, a solid gain of yards for the Lancers though. Second quarter and the crowd's getting riled up. It has been a pretty decent game so far, I'd say. The weather's been able to keep up nice and a little bit breezy. Not too windy though. Not too windy, not too windy. Looks like we had number 23, Andrew Dill again for the run for the Lancers. We got a timeout called by the Lancers. We'll take another short break and we'll be right back with you. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, and we're back. About a minute left in the first half. Lancers three and two, looking for a pass. Right over the head of number 22. And that would be, that would be Robbie Pope. Robbie Pope, just a bit over his head. Four and two now for the Lancers. They can either go for it or they can kick it back. Although, two yards to go, I would think they'd go for it. Plus, they're ahead by 14 points, so. True. Why not? Let's see what they're doing. And the handoff to 23, that's Dill, Andrew Dill. They got the first down, I think, just there. The refs make the final decision. I thought he hit it. Yep, they hit it. First down. First down. First down. A minute left in the. I keep saying in the game. A minute left in the first half. Deep pass by the Lancers. Just a bit short, or too far actually, I should say. That would have been impressive. It would have been a decent throw. He would have had enough room to run with it. That pass was intended for number 15 for the Lancers, Braxton Sawyer. Sawyer, Sawyer. I'm gonna go Sawyer. Lancers, number 23, Andrew Dill making the run again. He's brought down. Brady was on the stop there. Calling a timeout. The Lancers calling another timeout. We'll use that. Take a short break and a word from our sponsors. You're watching RTC TV 4. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans 
from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board. All right, and we're back. Lancers, 3 and 11 with 42 seconds left of the first half. Reps calling, what do they got? What happened? Foul on the Lancers. Ooh. Good for the Comets. Yeah, that'll push them back five yards. Not a good placement if you're a Lancer, but for the Comets, that'll do it to keep them back. They're three and 16 now. Try to take the field, waiting for a ref or official to blow a whistle and get it going. There we go. Oh, bit high on the snap. The number four from was able to run for it. Number four being Leighton. Leighton Scissornecki. About 30 minutes left on the clock, and it is still running for the first half. Close. Think they can make a play in five seconds? Nope. <laughs> Run out the clock. And that's going to end it for the first quarter. Lancers leading 14 to the Comet Zero. Thank you for tuning in to RTC TV 4. We will be right back after this break. Oh, here it is. You know what you're looking for underneath your truck? I don't, but I know who does. The professional service staff at Shepherds knows how to fix my vehicle and get me back on the road fast. Schedule your next service appointment online at shepherdsrochester.com. From simple oil changes to major engine repair, Shepherds is the only place for me. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency, online at evansagencyrochester.com. Sunday afternoon. Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on RTC4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. 
Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. Are the other guys offering you less than you expect for your trade-in? At Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, they trade your way, offering you top dollar for your trade-in vehicle. Hi, I'm Chris Smith, PJ Tour player and Rochester native. Shepherds prides themselves on giving you the highest amount possible for your trade. If someone is giving you less than you expect, come out to Shepherds and give them the opportunity to find a deal that works for you. Shepherds Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. Oh, here it is. You know what you're looking for underneath your truck? I don't, but I know who does. The professional service staff at Shepherds knows how to fix my vehicle and get me back on the road fast. Schedule your next service appointment online at shepherdsrochester.com. From simple oil changes to major engine repair, Shepherds is the only place for me. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency, online at evansagencyrochester.com. Touchdown from every game, every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master Instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. 
Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on RTC4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. Are the other guys offering you less than you expect for your trade-in? At Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, they trade your way, offering you top dollar for your trade-in vehicle. Hi, I'm Chris Smith, PJ Tour player and Rochester native. Shepherds prides themselves on giving you the highest amount possible for your trade. If someone is giving you less than you expect, come out to Shepherds and give them the opportunity to find a deal that works for you. Shepherds, Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Lee Miller, oh, bounces off the ground, and it comes right back up to him, and he's able to make it across for the touchdown. He dribbles, nice. dribbles it across the end zone that time, across the goal line. Well, you do have Coach Patrick down there. Maybe <laughs> That's there's true. A, looking at some <laughs> basketball talent here. Well, that works out. Miller gets in the end zone. With 527 to go. Lance goes in motion. He's going to get it up the middle. And he fights his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Nice job. All right. Nice power move. Yep, nice job by Wes Melanson on that carry for the touchdown. Oh. Slow snap. He's able to pick it up. He finds Melanson, though. <laughs> out near the 40 to the 35 30. Down to the 25 yard line. So nice little pitch and catch. Trapedi to Melanson. And Trapedi's in the shotgun. He's got Johnny Gonzalez to the right. Picks up a nice block. Trapedi to the right, he finds Miller. He's got him down at the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. Oh, nice. Nice catch by oh, Miller oh, right oh. at the sideline in the end zone. Nice throw by Trapedi, too. That's been his favorite target tonight, old Miller. Has been. They've done a nice job nice finding him. Corbin Wood and Taylor Johnson back deep for the Zebras. Week four underway, low end over end kick. One hop and oh, bounces past Corbin Wood. Picks it up at his five yard line. Wood gets a block at the 10, the 15, splits the middle, right at the middle of the 30. Corbin Wood slips out there to the 40, the 45 in midfield, and Wood comes 40, at the 30, at the 20, he's going to go to the house. 95-yard touchdown return, touchdown Zebras. Corbin Wood with a 95-yard touchdown kickoff return. We've been waiting for two years. A tight end, Jerry Plummer, the left tight end. Perez under center on first and 10. Sends Wood in motion to the near side. He gets the pitch, cuts it up the middle. Corbin Wood bounces it to the outside. He's gone. Corbin Wood at the 30, at the 20, at the 10. Touchdown, Zebras. Corbin Wood with his second touchdown of tonight, uh, the ball game tonight. A 46-yard run. 54? 54-yard uh, run. He was on the other 46. <laughs> About five yards behind Brady Perez this time instead of a yard. He gets the pitch going left. He's got some blockers. Outruns the defense. Looking for the pylon. Looking for the left corner. Touchdown, Zebras! Bryce Abbott, 13-yard run around right the left side. Puts the Zebras up 20 to nothing. And that was just pitch it to Abbott and let him outrun everybody to the corner. Northfield answers and on the Dassoon kickoff. Twins to the near side. Johnson and Wood. Brady Perez under center with eight on the play clock. On third and 20, Brady Perez back to pass. Has some pressure. Lost it down the near sideline at a double pressure. Corbin Wood! Corbin Wood! Off to the races! Touchdown Zebras! Holy moly! Somebody send that to ESPN! He kicked that around with one hand and in stride. Grabbed it at the 15-yard line and took it to the house. Touchdown Zebras! Corbin Wood, another fantastic athletic move. He outran the defender. Wood in motion to the near side. Takes the pitch to him. Gives to Johnson underneath. Taylor Johnson then back into the end zone. Touchdown, Zebras. Nice job by Taylor Johnson. Just weaved his way through the defense until he found the goal line. Yeah, to think things through, I'd imagine yeah. it'd be pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for another pass. Tate launching it. They Got actually it find it. Blake him. Albright. Wow. That was a beautiful pass. Number seven, Tate Cowell to Blake Albright. Woo. That was a nice, that was, Thomas setting up. Didn't think him, hand it back off to Blake Albright. Had to run him. He's down at about the 29. 
a little bit further back than what it looked like from up here. Looks like he maybe gained something there, but apparently not. Second and ten. Like comments handed it back to I can't even tell who they handed it to. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. It's a giant dog pile and I didn't see anybody in particular get up with the ball. Looks like they got pushed back, but maybe they gained one. I'm not too sure. Third and nine is what they're calling it. We'll roll up the announcer. Hand off to number four. He's got some Casey. room. He's got Casey Hall. He's got leverage. He's going. He's going. He's still going. Wow. Casey Alt showing some strength there. Holy. Okay. And we are back. Still about a minute. Yeah, two minutes into halftime. And with mm -hmm. me, I have a new commentator for, to join me. I'm, okay, I'm tripping over my words already. But I have a new commentator to join me for the second half of the game here, going mm -hmm. by Taylor Duncan. Hello, hello. Glad to have you aboard, Taylor. It's glad to be aboard. Uh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We got a minute and 30. LaVille leads 14 to Comet 0. Field's Eight. pretty clear right now. Teams aren't exactly out yet. Yep. Sure is a nice night, though. It is a nice night. It's a bit chilly, but not too chilly, if you know what I mean. Perfect football weather. Right, right. Perfect football weather. Definitely better than last week. I was freezing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Comet's getting out there, warming themselves up, making sure they're all loose and ready to go. We continue the rest of the game. LaVille still nowhere to be seen. Oh, excuse me. My bad. You uh, you're right? Yeah. Just, you know, my lungs exploding. Oh, you know, that's that's what happens sometimes. Yeah, I, I get it. I understand. There's the Lancers taken up to the field. With 40 seconds left to go in the halftime break. Be interesting to see the Comets come back from this game. Yeah, I wonder what their uh, strategy is and approach in the second half of the game. See if they can get anything running, maybe catch up to the Lancers. I don't want. I don't want to see a uh, like a. Uh, it's not really. I'd say like a. Uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking at. Uh, I'm not gonna remember, so I'm just gonna elaborate. I, I want them to see them at least score once, like a zero yeah. to four, a zero to whatever. If the Lancers score again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd like to see him at least, you know. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Well, I'd like to see I know you get it, but I'm making sure everyone at home gets it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd like to see him at least score. That would be pretty interesting to see. Seven is better than zero. True. I'd even take a six in case we can't score the extra point. Right, right. All right, two minutes and 40 seconds. Got a little bit of an extra break to kind of get everyone warmed up and ready to go. Crowd seems uh, ecstatic. Absolutely. Seems like there's less of them. Oh, it's because everyone's at a concession stand, of course. Well, hey, it's it is halftime, you know. It is halftime. Yeah. It is good concessions, man. You yeah, got to love high school sport concessions. Right, right. Always got to love Good food, that. good drinks. You know, and you can... Watch some football while you're at it, you know, any right, other sport. Right. That's nice. Right. And at reasonable prices, too, you know. Well, I'm getting an update about the uh, the Valley game. Going into the halftime, Valley is up 29-0. to zero. And also from the Rochester game, Rochester is still leading 17-7 to seven going into halftime. So pretty decent scoring by Valley and Rochester. It looks like they're coming out on top. I'd say. And 
And both teams taking their sides of the field. Looks like we're gonna get things underway here shortly. Decent crowd, I'd say, but you know, the band left after halftime for the uh, Comets, so it's a bit bare over there on that side of the bleachers. But other than that, decent crowd for both teams tonight. Well, we still have the cheerleaders to amp up the crowd a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's always about keeping the crowd in the spirit of the game, you know? What's right. fun watching a game if you can't get excited and riled up about it, right? Right, right. right. And a little bit of team spirit couldn't hurt. Oh, yeah. Team spirit never hurts. It's going to be interesting to see... Uh, let's see, what did the announcers say homecoming was for casting the 29th of September? Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting because usually everyone's all, you know, riled up and ready to go for those games. So, can't wait to uh, get there and do that. Definitely seems like it would be an interesting game. Hopefully a close one. Absolutely. Let's see. We got the Lancers lining up for the play. We got number, it's getting dark out. It's 20-something. Who are you? 21 out there for the Lancers in the way back to receive the ball. And 21 is going to be Kobe Watts. And the Comets are taken to the field. And I'm going to assume that number 55, Brandon Kinzer, will be kicking the ball back to the Lancers. I could be wrong, though. No, they're putting number two, Noah Rashinsky, out there to kick the ball back to the Lancers. Indeed, indeed. Noah Rashinsky also plays soccer. If I remember right from the time I uh, commentated for a soccer game, he's definitely, pretty good. Definitely going to be, hopefully, a pretty good kick. Yeah, hopefully a good good choice for kicking. Let's see what he can do. Definitely a smart move to enlist soccer players to kick the ball. You know, that's kind of all they do. Yep. All right. Ball's up. Nice kick by that Rashinsky. Was a nice kick. Went straight to number 21. That's Kobe Watts. Yes. Looks like he has some room. He's He's got plenty of room. He's able he's to going. avoid him. Holy oh, he's crap. Gone. He's gone. He's out. Oh. oh. Stopped. Seems plenty of penalty flags on the field. I think that was 35. Colton Walker able to just barely stop him. Seems somebody might be injured. I think that also. So I think that was Walker. Yeah, that was. That was close. Thinking the penalty was against the Lancers. If I heard that right. Seemed like it. Moving back. Man, that's a bummer. They were, sure they were in good standings after that. After receiving that kick, now they have to start all the way back here. Definitely, but at least casting can get the upper hand. Yeah, yeah. Someone gets the advantage out of that. Yeah. So. All right, Lancer starting first and ten at the 24-yard line. Their own 24-yard line, I might add. Let's see what they can do. Starting off the third quarter. Be a handoff. Good gainage. Yeah, a solid gain of yards. Couldn't quite tell who had that one. It's getting dark out. My eyes are deceiving me. But uh, looks like they got a gain of eight yards at least, so they're two and two. Lining up for another offensive play. Let's see what they got. Flag. Offsides. False, false start. Yeah, false start. <sighs> my bad. My mistake. Just when mine thought that. False start. That'll send him back five yards. So good setting for the Comets to push him back. So they're two and six now. Shouldn't they be two and set? They were two and two, weren't they? Should be yeah. two and seven. Uh, oh well, I've learned only somewhat. Listen to the scoreboard. 
Handoff by the Lancers. Looked like number 20 maybe for the Lancers. Yep, Dakota Fig is able to gain a few yards. Beach bash. Get to the first first yard. Get to the first yard, yeah. All right, all right. I'll take that. I'll take that. Three and four for the Lancers. Lancers looking for another handoff play. Comets able to bring him down quick. Casey was able to get a hold of number 23, Andrew Dill. Brought him down just like that. Boom. Four and four now for the Lancers. No gain on the play, but no loss on the play. So it's not the entirely bad thing. Right, right. Lancers looking to punt the ball back off to the Comets. Old Dakota Fig out there to kick the ball. And we got Blake Albright in deep for the Comets. Solid kick by Fig. Let's see, 38 yard line. Comets will take it on the 38. It's a good start. It's a good start. They can work with that. Definitely. We'll work with that. See how explosive they are on offense. Yeah, see if they can get anything going for them here in the third quarter. Maybe make a comeback. You know, a little, little, uh, that's what I'm looking for. I'm missing out. Uh, momentum? <laughs> moment yes, momentum. That's what I was looking for. That's exactly what I was looking for. It is just what I was thinking, so. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Glad we're on the same page. Yeah. yeah. It's always nice. Yes, yeah, yes. Flag on the play. And it'll be flag on both. What are they calling? What you calling? They're going to do a personal foul against the lantern Lanterns, yeah, against the Lanterns. The Lancers, they're going to push him back. Comments now. Going to hand off to Casey. Ooh. He's got room to run. He was going for it. I don't think he's there for a first. I could be mistaken. Did he make it? Um, I think it was a little bit off. Just short. One more yard. Oh. One more yard. One yard. Just short. Two and one. I think they can pull this off. Maybe get a few extra yards. I would hope. Yeah. I would hope. We got. Uh, I think they got shoved back a little bit. Brady doesn't look like they come. Yeah, no, they didn't. Oh, they did. Oh, they were able to get in the. Okay, nice. sweet. Comment first down. It was hard to tell from up here. I just saw a dog pile and it didn't look like it got anywhere. But all right. Yeah, I saw, I saw them too. All right, all right. First and ten, 49 yard line for the Comets. Still able to etch their way over to the Lancer side of the field. And hopefully, keeping the main goal in mind, make a touchdown. Be an interesting thing to see. Very much so. I would be plenty of happy. Oh, yeah. Hand off to number 40, Casey, once again. Ooh. Yes. Pushing through. Yeah, got a good... Gain of yards, 46 yard line in Lancer territory. Solid gain. Comments now two and seven. That doesn't look like seven. One, two, three, four. Maybe it is. 
Uh, my math could be wrong, but we're going to go with the scoreboard this time. We're going to say 2-7. This is the safest bet. The handoff, he got it into... Well, Tate was able to get it into someone before he got brought down. That might have been... No, it was all Tate. All number seven, Tate Cow. I thought he handed it off to someone and they got brought down. Definitely. Sometimes it's hard to tell in these dog piles. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Then again, it is getting dark out. My glasses are probably due for a new prescription. Uh, I may be considered legally blind in a few states, but you know, we'll roll with it. We'll, we'll roll with it. Yeah, yeah. Sure, you can still probably see some numbers every now and again. Right, right, right. Don't worry, it's hard for me too. Okay, okay. But you don't have glasses, so I'm assuming you got perfect 2020. Anyway. <laughs> now it's making a run on the ball. That was Casey again. Trying to gain some yards. I think he might have got a few. By a few, I'm counting four. Yep, the comments will be sitting four and three now. I would hope they'd run for it. I'd hope they'd go for it. And I mean, I mean run literally. Like, run, run through them. Yeah, quite, yeah. Hmm. I agree, that would be fairly interesting. Absolutely. Three yards, I'd say they could go right through them. Sure, they could too. Let's see what happens. Maybe hand off to Looks Casey. Looks like what they're doing. Oh, he's able to spin him out and get the first down for the Comets. Nice. That was a good prediction you made. Thank you, thank you. I try, I try. with that first down. They're now sitting on the 38-yard line in Lancer territory. Got five minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock for the third quarter. Good attempt, good attempt. Tate was trying to hand it off to Blake Albright, number eight for the Comets. Couldn't quite get anywhere with it. I don't think. They did put forth effort. They, I would hope so. It's all about effort. It's all, it's all mental here in football. As Definitely. long as you got the right mindset, you know, you're good to go as quoted from uh, one of the Comets concussed players who was sitting out on the sidelines, 86, Chris Smith. It's all a mental game. Definitely. All right, timeout on the field. Who's calling it? The Comets calling the timeout. We're going to take this short break to get a word from our sponsors. You are watching RTC TV. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board-certified and fellowship-trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. And we're back after our break. Indeed. Both teams taking the field. Comets kind of trying to strategize here. They're 2 and 15, so they definitely lost the yards on that last play. I'm expecting a first down in this play. Are you? Yes. Are you making your predictions here? Yep. Well, if there's an interception that happens, I'm going to have to tell you to stop. I believe it is a run. 
Don't think there would be any interceptions on that specific play. I, I was lost. I was I was honestly just expecting. Okay. A little bit of yard gainage. Was there? Yeah, one. Three and fourteen. Three and fourteen. It, it was a yard gain. We'll get. We'll give it to him. We'll give it to him. It was a yard gain. Three and fourteen. Thomas got to get some ground gain here, or else they're definitely going to be punting it back off to the Lancers. Hopefully, get the next down. hopefully some big momentum. Be a handoff. Ooh. Casey on that run. He was able to gain a few yards. Not enough for me to be comfortable with uh, them making another play. But, you know, I'm a bit, like, take risks. So, right, right. Hail Mary. Just launch it. Risk it for a biscuit. Risk it for a biscuit. Absolutely. Four and ten for the Comets. And it looks like... Are they going to go for it? Seems to be that way. They're setting up Maybe. for it. The handoff to Casey. Looks like they're going to make a run for it. Casey trying to break through. Oh. Nah. Lancers defense had him. Stopped him. It was a nice attempt, though. Nice attempt. Definitely. Lancers will be taking it over with a turnover on downs. Got about three minutes left here in the third quarter. Team setting up, getting ready for another play. Comet's not taking the defensive here. Let's see what the Lancers got. Looking to make a run. He's got it. Number 23, Andrew Dill. Ooh, he took a hard hit head oh, falling yeah. down there. Gain of yards though, so I mean, even if he was hurt, it'd be worth it. Gain of yards. I I completely do not mean that at all. If he was hurt, it'd be terrible. But gain of two yards in that. Lancers two and eight. A little bit inch by inch is always is always a nice gain. It's always a nice gain. Any gain is a nice gain. Right. Going slow. back is not the goal. Right, obviously. Because you want to make a touchdown. That's on the other side of the field. Right. Lancers hand it back off to Dill again. He kind of tripped up a little bit there. Kind of side stumbled on his own feet. Gained yards though. Probably due to him uh, not being able to find his way. Yeah, might have stumbled across his own feet. I do that all the time. Granted, oh, yeah, I got really. size 15 shoe, so. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. That's the one around mine. I believe I'm 14 now. Really? Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah. Usually I can't find anyone with the same shoe size as me. I'm almost there. You're almost there. Yeah. That was tall, though. That was completely off topic. Back to the game. Right. <laughs> Uh, looking Ooh. for a pass. The Lancers, a deep pass. Number seven, Tate. He's able to swat that, get that out of there. Excellent play. Could have gone for the interception, but, you know, that block, he was just right there. It's twice Tate's done that now, this game. He was right there, just bam, out of here. Bam, right there. Looks like the Lancers are going to punt the ball back. That's surprising. They got three yards to go. I would have figured they would have gone for it. Well, they might be afraid of, you know, fumbling or something like that. Right, right. I can see that. I can see that. We'll be punting it back over to the Comets. And it looks like we got a flag against the Comets. That's going to be an automatic Lancer first down. Oh. All right. Well, never mind. Oh. I'm sure the comments will make up for it. We'll see. We'll see. We still got a whole nother quarter after this to see what, what they can pull off. All it takes is two touchdowns, and they are back. Two touchdowns and two extra points, field goals. 
Specifically. Specifically. You got my point, though. And that's to tie it. Yeah. Lancers going to run it. They're able to gain some good yards right there. Say you put down at about the 46 yard line in Comet territory. Two and four for the Lancers. Flag on the play. False start. Are you sure? Hey, you're right. False start against the offense. Nice for Lancer. Backs him up five yards. That'll be good for the good sitting for the Comets. Lancer's now two and nine with that five yard backup from the false start. Definitely wouldn't help the Comets out in this situation. Definitely, definitely. Gives them a little bit more room to play here. See if the Lancers can get moving. Looking for a handoff to sneak him right through the middle. Comets are right on top of him. Very explosive. Minimum gain. Like a yard, maybe two. Or maybe nothing, you know. Maybe. Wasn't quite sure. I see a dog pile, and then two. I just kind of assume. Gain of two? Seems. <laughs> 12 seconds left, 10. Seems to run down the clock. I would, too. Not enough time to fully make a play. Right. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Once again, you are watching RTC TV 4. We're going to take a short break and be right back with you. Oh, here it is. You know what you're looking for underneath your truck? I don't, but I know who does. The professional service staff at Shepherds knows how to fix my vehicle and get me back on the road fast. Schedule your next service appointment online at shepherdsrochester.com. From simple oil changes to major engine repair, Shepherds is the only place for me. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency, online at evansagencyrochester.com. All right, and we are back for the fourth quarter. I have gotten another new commentator to join me for the fourth quarter. Sabrina Nice is now on the mic. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> All right, fourth quarter. LaVille's, LaVille's got possession of the ball, if I'm not mistaken. He's still leading 14 to zero to catch everyone up to speed. Yep. Just blow on the whistle. Let's get this underway. Deville looking for a pass. Just got a bit. Pass it down complete. Bit too far there. Looking for number 30. That would have been dark out. So let's see if I can find him on the roster. Number 30. That would have been Trent Brooks. Aiming for. Just missed him. Like, during school, they had, like, so much confidence in themselves that they can actually beat LaVille. I'm like, you guys, you guys got to believe in yourself, like, for real. Right. It's all a mental game. That's what the sport boils down to. Yes. Get the mi right mindset and go for it. It's a nice punt by LaVille all the way to number eight, Blake Albright. I'll start the Comets to the 21-yard line. Solid. But when they get on the field, there's, like, 
They just don't think about it. They just go out there and like the coaches believe in them, like the whole stand out here believes in them. They can win any kind of game they want. I absolutely agree. They got to get themselves in the, you know, again, the right mindset and get themselves psyched up to win. Yep. I'd at least like to see them score by the end of this game. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> It's looking for a handoff. They got it to. Looks like Casey, maybe. Might have been. I'm thinking it was. Casey, yep, that was yep. Casey. <laughs> <laughs> Second and five for the Comets after that five yard game by Casey. See if the Comets can start etching their way over to Lancer territory and uh, get in for a touchdown. We got a lot of ground to make up yet. Mm -hmm, a lot. I wasn't quite sure who had it on that one. It looks like it was Brady Hartman. Nope, that was Tate. Yep. Sorry, my bad, guys. It was Tate. It's all good. Once they get in that dog pile, it's hard to figure out who's still got it. <laughs> yep. I think with that run by Tate, not so sure if he gained any yards on that one. The scoreboard still reads three and five, so I'll follow the scoreboard and say that's where we're at. <laughs> Looks like the Comets tried to hand the ball off to uh, Casey to make a run. Flag on the play. Foul of a face mask on the Lancers. That'll push him back. Okay, we got an update that zero, uh Starting fourth quarter, zebras up to 17 to se seven. 17 to seven. All yep. right. Looks like Rochester still pulling through on their terms or turf. It looks like that foul of the face mask from Laville was able to get the Comets for a first down on the 41 yard line. Awesome. Comets handing the ball off oh, to Blake, who, who handed it off to Casey. Trying to do a double handoff. I think he might have gained a yard on that play. Casey all about the carry. Second down for the Comets. Second and nine, sitting on the 42-yard line. Comments trying to figure out what they're going to do here next. Tate looking for a pass. He lobs it up. Looks like he was looking for Blake Albright. Shouted just a bit over him. She was getting swarmed, so I don't blame him. Rather get rid of it than take a loss of yards. <laughs> Me too. Three and nine still for the Comets. See if we can get any yards gained here. For a handoff back to. Casey. Oh, and he's going to pass it. 
Launches to it oh. out to Tate. And then Tate tackled number 12. LaVille with the interception. Lancers now get it, 40 yard line, first and 10. It's a nice interception, almost had it on that pass. Mm -hmm. but Casey yeah. over to Tate. I think number 12 for LaVille was just able to yank it out of his hands. Kobe Watts, Watts on LaVille. LaVille now on the offensive. And for a handoff to number 23, Andrew Dill. Comets are able to knock him back. Looks to be no gain on that play. Oh, my bad, there was a gain on the play. It didn't look like there was. I thought he went down right on the 40 yard line. My bad. Answers now looking for another handoff to number 20, Dakota Fig. He gets taken down hard. Let's see. Third down, eight yards to go. Common's doing a good job so far to hold back the Lancers and see if they can keep it up. Maybe get a turnover. Hand off by the, the Lancers again to 21. He's got plenty of room to run. They get the first down. Number 21 for the Lancers being Kobe Watts. Nice run by the Lancers to get them that first down. Sitting on the 46 yard line now. Lancers with another handoff to number 20, Dakota Fig. He stopped. Our line is like, they push each other and then they just stop. And they just run after the pe per person that has the ball. It's like, you gotta tackle somebody. <laughs> gotta all put in an effort and stop a guy. Yeah. Lancers another handoff to 21. I think that's Kobe. He dropped it. Oh. And by drop it, he kind of flung it in the air. It's a Comet recovery on that one. All right. Kobe must have not been able to get a good grip on that. It just went flying out of his hand. Not quite sure who recovered that for the Comets though, but either way. Comets have the football first and 10 from the 35 yard line. Comets will be sitting nice and easy on the 35 yard line. See if they can get anything moving for them. We got six minutes and 16 seconds here in the fourth. I don't think the comments know what they're doing. They better figure out soon. They got 15 seconds on the play timer. Mm. 
Valley 36 to 0 at 555, quarter three. Cool, cool. Valley still leading, and it seems like they're take they're dominating that matchup. Uh, we got a timeout by the Comets. We're going to take a short break and go through our sponsors. You're watching RTC TV4. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on RTC4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. Are the other guys offering you less than you expect for your trade-in? At Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, they trade your way, offering you top dollar for your trade-in vehicle. Hi, I'm Chris Smith, PJ Tour player and Rochester native. Shepherds prides themselves on giving you the highest amount possible for your trade. If someone is giving you less than you expect, come out to Shepherds and give them the opportunity to find a deal that works for you. Shepherds, Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. All right, and we're back after that break. And Lancers out on the field, Comets still off to the sides, getting prepped up to get back out there after the timeout. Hopefully they can make some yardage. Hopefully. Yeah, first and 10, so let's see what they can get going in this possession. Looks like Tate's looking for a pass. And he's looking. Oh. He's looking for 40 Casey. Couldn't quite get it to him. A bit low. Yeah, it was. Second and 10. Hopefully next year we get a big football team out here. Yeah, I noticed that. There's quite a few of them out there that are seniors, isn't there? Yeah. yeah we're going to need more freshmen to join up on the team and pick up on the gap of players you'll have. Yeah. Number seven, Tate, looking for another pass. Just a bit over. I think juniors, we only have like two will be seniors that would be in football. Hopefully we get more seniors, but who knows? Only time will tell. Next year we'll find out. All right, the foul was called on the field during that play. I think it was against the Comets, and I'll push him back. I'm not sure what the foul was, but it was definitely against the Comets. 15-yard penalty. That is not good. Comets now going to have to fight for that first down, 2 and 25. Comets now have, now at 15 yard line. It looks like Brady was running the ball. I think Tate made a short pass to him. Not quite sure it was running it either. It might have been Brady. It was. Brady has so much potential. He was I, think, I think everybody on that team has potential. Oh, absolutely. Uh, games previous, he was making quite a few runs and making, like, had a really nice. Oh, what, what am I looking for? I'm going to start babbling here, and I'm not going to know <laughs> what I'm talking about. But Brady and Casey were definitely, like, neck and neck at gaining yards for the Comets. And uh, now I haven't seen too much of Brady in this game, but Casey's definitely still been on it. Yeah. When they have a bunch of people on them, they just push themselves. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. Casey was on the carry for the last play. I'm not so sure if he gained any yards on that one. 
Ew, he actually lost yards in that play. <laughs> Comets looking to punt the ball back off. I wouldn't blame them. They're four and 27. Yeah, a really big play if they tried to run it. Really high on the snap there. Kinzer was able to kick the ball off. Was able to get, get it. But I'd say the 45-yard line for the Lancers. <laughs> I heard that Laville is doing pretty bad this year, but... By this game, I think they've improved. Absolutely, they definitely. If they are doing bad this year, it's not showing right now. <laughs> yeah. They're looking for a handoff to number 20. I do believe that's Dakota Fig. He's brought down, I think gained a yard or two. I guess they didn't gain anything on the play. Looked like he might have dropped down at the 47-yard uh, line, but guess not. I was mistaken. That's all right. <coughs> Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Answers two and ten still. Handoff by the Lancers trying to sneak it through the middle. I think that might have been Fig again on the play. Lancers three and seven. They're making progress. Let's see if we can keep it going. Go for another handoff to 23, Andrew Dill. He's brought down with a gain of yards. Valley's 43 to zero, 238 in the quarter three. Wow. Valley's dominating their game. Yeah, they are. All right. Comments calling another timeout. We'll be back with you after this little break. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, and we're back after that break. Two minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock in the fourth. And to catch everyone up to speed, LaVille still leading 14 to zero. Foul on the play. Ball started on the Lancers. That'll push him back five yards. All 
I remember last year they they improved a lot this year. The answers to the comments. Comments. Oh, absolutely. I'd agree to that one. Because we had Brady Jones for the coach, and I feel that day was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, he was a good coach and all, but. Just didn't really have it all there for football then, huh? No. Uh, the new head coach for the Comets, Tony Slocum, seems to have got him yeah. in a better position for playing. Yep. All the players were so excited he was the new coach. <laughs> There's a penalty called on the field. Not quite sure against who or what, but I saw a yellow flag go up, so I know it was there. Looks like it might have been against the Lancers. During the kick, maybe? Well, looks the like comments. Personal foul, yeah, personal foul in the comments. I think that's going to be an automatic first down for the Lancers, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's what it's looking like. Ref's trying to get something figured out here. Hoping the comments will go into conference and win it if they improve, but maybe a 30 50 chance on that? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? They might change after a while. I can see it happening. I can see it happening. Fingers crossed. Yep. Well, we're trying to get it. Something moving. Referee's still disputing about something, maybe. First down for the Lancers on the field. There we go. So Looks like there going. we go. Lancers like the ball and take a knee. Second down. Lancers taking the knee. Keep the clock running. Second down, second and ten. Trying to make it where they have the last possession of the game, I imagine. Got a minute left on the board. And another knee. Lancers now three and ten. With 40 seconds left on the clock.
And the clock's ticking. And it's looking like that's going to be it for the game. Zero to 14. Yep, Comets couldn't quite get it running for them. In score, LaVille 14 to Comets 0. Well, wrap things up. Thank you all for tuning in to RTC TV 4. Be, uh, feel free to check out our website at rtctv4.com to get a hold of more high school footage and such. Once again, my name is Dakota Hayden alongside with Sabrina Nice, and we'll see you all next see you time. All guys later.